What is up everybody? Bill with Honest Over Permaculture Hot Farm. We're standing in front of a garden bed that we just put together, planted out a little bit the other day, but Connor and I are gonna plant the rest of it out today. Let me show you what's in there and then show you what we're gonna plant. All right, so as of right now, we have onions around the outside of it. Right behind the onions, we have some stuff sprouting right here, some little sprouts. Those are radishes mixed with turnips, mixed with carrot. So it was a mixture of three different types of seed. They all kind of thin themselves out. They'll pop up at different times and we can harvest them at different times. So radishes, turnips, and carrots right behind that. Behind there we put some leafy greens like some collards we planted. They haven't started popping up yet. Now on this string line, we're planting, what are we planting on this string line, Connor? Remember? No. The green beans? Peas? Peas are right behind it. The green beans are on the string line right now. So we're putting green beans on this line and then we're going to put peas that will run up this fence back here. You ready to finish planting them green beans? Yeah. Let's do it. Grab your bag. So let's explain to them real quick how we're going to plant these seeds. So we're going to take this PVC guys, we're going to stick it right in the garden area, right where we want the seed planted. He's going to take the bean, show him the bean really close. Walk up all the way to the, to the camera and show him the bean. Okay, show it in the camera right there. Yep, that's the camera. The screen. Don't look at the screen. You gotta look in here. So there's the bean we're gonna be planting. So we take that bean, we'll stick it right in the hole. It'll drop out the other side and our bean will be planted, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, grab your bean. You got one? Boom. Right, grab one. Got it. You almost spilt those. Let me get it. Is that bag already open? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, they look show the camera what we're planting here. Now we've got peas that will run up that fence back there. We're going to plant the same way. You put them in your bag. You put them in your bag. Right. Done planting that bed out, aren't we? Well, not the video. But not doing the video. We got to kind of explain why we planted it out that way. So let's talk about it, okay? Okay. All right. So let's talk about the nitty gritty and get down to why we planted this bed in the manner that we planted it. We have a whole bunch of different type of crops grown in here. Just an example to show you guys that if you have a garden bed, you can grow more than just tomatoes in your garden bed. You can grow more than just cucumbers in your garden bed. You can grow multiple different things in one garden bed. And you wanna think about different levels. How tall is something gonna get when it grows? So onions, they're very spindly. They don't get very tall. The fruit of the onion, well, you can still eat the onion scapes, but most of the fruit of the onion is in the ground. So that's pretty much out of the way of everything. So we put them down here in front. We put some other stuff like root crops, carrots, beets, or not beets, carrots, turnips, and radishes right behind those onions in a row. Right behind that, we put some leafy greens that will get up taller, some lettuces, some collards that will grow to about a foot and a half. Behind that, we put some bean plants that will grow to about two feet. Behind that, we put 
on the fence the peas that are going to run up the fence so you don't think about space as far as vertical space and growing things if we were to put the tall stuff down here where all the sun's going to get everything behind it's not going to get any sun so you want to think about where the sun is the sun's coming from this direction so it's going to come down and shine and everything's going to get sun it's like the edge of a forest think of the edge of a forest the edge of a forest has a little bit of pasture and then it's got some brush and then it's got some some bushes and then some taller trees and then the tallest trees so it kind of goes up and the edge of that forest has got a huge variety of plants at the edge of that forest the deeper you go into the forest is when you find your oak trees just nothing but oak trees nothing but uh, pines or or whatever that forest dominant species may be is when you go deeper into the forest but at the forest edge you're gonna find a whole bunch of different plants and that's pretty much what we're mimicking here is nature and the forest edge so don't be afraid of growing multiple different things just think about how you're gonna plant them in relation to the Sun and how tall they get so we've got a few more onions we're gonna plant on the back side to help keep the moles out of here kind of a mole barrier moles and voles really don't like the smell of onions it's not a complete 100 percent deterrent but it does help just a little bit to keep those varmint away so we'll put some more onions along the back side because it's a little exposed and we're to go i didn't do it sir i what, what did i do what, what what did i do you shot to my what did butt I do? you shot to my butt what no I, i'm sorry butt. sorry Bam! Oh! <laughs> I just want to plant some onions, Bam! my man. I just want to plant Bam! some onions. Bam! Oh yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Later. <laughs>